Hi, my name is Margaret and welcome to my artsy corner of the internet. So uh, apparently the Grammys was last night or like a day ago or something. I don't know who actually watches the Grammys. That's my question. I don't think I know anybody who watches award shows. I sure don't, but I did hear that BTS performed. So yeah, I wanted to watch it. They're like making a driveway. Um, there's, there's a lot of noise. So if you hear a lot of noise, I'm so sorry, but like, I didn't want to wait, okay? <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, I'm excited. Are we ready? We're not mission control. Is that the periodic table? <gasps> Aerial work. That's sick. Do a flip. Not them being so cool. Am I supposed to know who she is? Or is it like a random person in the audience? I mean, I guess everybody in the audience is a celebrity. Oh well. <gasps> oh, slick, slick. Yes. Look at how they're climbing up the stairs. That's so much fun. It's so impressive how they can sing and, like, dance at the same time. Ooh. This is a really cool stage, too. I've actually heard this song on the radio before, so I, I can kind of jam to it. <gasps> Did he just do like a, a butterfly jump? Dude, this is sick. Yes. Yes. Oh, not this. Is... They're magicians now, too. Mr. Boss, sir. He just looks like a boss. Oh my gosh. Yeah, oh, that's so cute. Just all of their security guards. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, they're still going. Y'all better stand. 
first half, I was like, okay, I think I've seen that dance before. I must have seen it somewhere, like on like an Instagram reel or something. I've seen like the the little like Ron de Jean whom part. So I've seen like that part before. So I was like, okay, yeah, no, they're killing it. They're singing and dancing. But then that second like dance with the lasers, oh my gosh, why has nobody ever done that before? I mean, I get like the people have done that, but like the dancing through the lasers, oh my gosh, that was so cool. They're so good at like making a spectacle of things. I've been thinking a lot about that because we're studying this guy named Merce Cunningham, who was like a big modern dancer in like the 60s maybe. And he talked a lot about like making like the whole performance a thing, like costuming and staging and lighting and dancing and music and sound and music and sound. Good job, Margaret. Um, and like lighting and making everything work together. But then his pieces are so boring. And like I say that out of love, but they're so boring. And BTS does such a good job at like making all of those different aspects, like the costume and the choreography and the music and the stage design work together in such a cohesive fashion that it makes it feel like you just watched like a full movie. I also would not think to put like butter in like a 007 kind of context but it works so well because like to me butter I'm like eh, they're probably all gonna wear like neon yellow and like whatever because it feels like a very like summer song but yet somehow they made it both like a summer peppy song that like you can play on the beach but also like a really cool song for when you're having an art heist like I don't like it's so cool um and just as like an artist I'm sitting here and I'm like I want to make something like that like I want to someday create a show or make choreography that makes somebody be like oh my gosh like that was amazing like I don't know you just don't find people like that every day that like when you watch them it inspires you to be like I need to go train I need to go start writing music I need to go make choreography I don't know I I'm, and then I'm also like how did I not know about BTS like a year ago like what why would why were they not on my radar let's go now. okay him descending from the sky this is Jungkook I think I finally know all of their names I don't I like this little aerial apparatus so I I do circus arts as well and so I've done a lot of aerial and I'm not I don't think I've ever seen something like this but it looks like he like can stand on a little platform and Descend down. Was not expecting that. That's really cool. <laughs> I'm gonna let this play in the background just like a little bit, but I think something that's really cool through this entire like first half of the song performance is like they're just sitting here in the audience and like this whole card thing. They're they're pretty much like acting, right? But I think they're, and I might be biased because I'm a dancer, but I feel like because they have such awareness of their body from dancing and they are such good dancers that when they do like that throw of the card and when they catch it, there's like a flair that they understand because they know how to use only their body to communicate a story. So then when they're doing this more like physical acting, you can see like when they catch the card it's not just okay i caught the card and i they understand that you have to hold it out um so i'm choreographing a piece right now in college and there's one moment where like somebody's like counting down with their finger and it's like if you put it right here it's not going to be very legible from the audience because it's being you have like this background of your whole body and so it's hard to kind of understand but if you bring it out here and make the line longer it's easier to see that you're counting and so that principle i think is used also in this entire beginning part where yes i'm throwing a card but if you're a dancer and because they are so technically proficient in dance they understand that they understand how to make their movements legible and so even though they're just sitting in the audience they understand that how they're sitting sitting in the audience affects how people are going to perceive them. So they want to look really, really cool and like, I'm better than you with my shades on, instead of like, happy golden retriever. Like they're not going for the golden retriever right now. They're going for like, I'm cool. I'm one of those cats with no hair. I don't know where this is going. <laughs> but like, they understand that the way in which they sit conveys a certain message and where they're holding their head when they sit also conveys something different. Y you, do you get what I'm saying? I think they just, they, they know what they're doing. Like 
I love how they walk up the back of the stairs here. It's very like slinky. I also love how J-Hope jumps in the background. He runs and runs. I love that the, the like slowly sliding your hands while just walking up the stairs, it makes it feel like butter. Like, I wasn't gonna say that, I'm sorry. But like, it's so smooth and slinky. And it's just because he's bringing his chest forward and it's kind of using his hands when he's walking upstairs. Like who knew that walking upstairs could be so interesting, but it is when you do it properly. See, he even understood when he like, you know, clicking a button, he understood that it, it, it's like a dance move, even though it's not a dance move. It's, it's like a performative action. It's really interesting if like you like watch each one of them individually because they do all of the moves so differently and like so infused with their own personal style and interpretation. But then you'll notice, I think it's really obvious in this choreo specifically, because they have very specific moments where everybody's hand is exactly here at the same time and exactly here. And where's another point? Here, they all hit this accent. And then here, they're exactly here, here. I actually don't know exactly where their arms are. But if you watch what they do in between those moments, it's very stylized to them. And they're not trying to be the person next to them. They're really like indulging in their own personal movement style. But then they come together for those moments so that they look really clean together. And I think that's a really cool thing to find clarity as a group, but also individuality amongst them. And I think it's one of the reasons why they're so interesting to watch because you can watch every single person. Like I could watch this performance seven times and watch each one of them individually and have a totally different experience. But if I also sit back and watch them as a group, it looks cohesive, which is a hard balance to find. Um, and I think it's great. Also, look at how far they get down on this move, right? Wait, wait. Here. They get really low. And I think sometimes you forget, well, also they're singing right now, which like is crazy. I wonder if they like bump up the under backtrack just a little bit more when they're fully dancing. Maybe not, I don't know. I, I, I honestly don't know anything about productions like this, <laughs> but um, they get so low in their hips. Like their hips are ridiculously low when they do that move. Like they're, they're literally like halfway to the floor with their upper torso and then they just come back up. But like you miss it if you're not actually like looking at it because it looks so smooth and easy. It looks like they're just like, Ugh. but really they're like, it's, it, it's, 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 I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I love um, how this is Jimin in the middle, I'm pretty sure, because he had the cool glasses earlier. Um, I'm sorry, I'm really bad with like figuring out who people are quickly. I love how in those little like step touches, because he's the one singing right now, I believe, I think that's why he's in the middle. He doesn't do them like as low or as large, but he's still dancing them just as much. And I think that's also an interesting look into like how going full out in dancing and performance doesn't always mean doing moves bigger sometimes it just means doing them like differently yeah i don't know i think it's cool also i love and i feel like maybe i just don't comment on this enough but like their formation changes are always very smooth i think this is v in the back he like so effortlessly just like sprints to the front of the stage Wait for it. And Jimmy just jumps back. It takes a lot of uh, like awareness of, how do I say this? It takes like a sixth sense to like be able to like perceive who's behind you and like where they are if you can't see them. And so Jimmy just fully like jumps back and he has to like trust his own technique and like to just like run backwards. He has to trust that all of his like 
bandmates are like in the right position and then V has to like sprint forward and then start singing and like there's a lot of like spatial logistics that happen but they do it so smoothly that like you just you don't even notice and you're like oh there's another person in front now and like that's crazy also the choreographers do a really good job at um i don't want to say like hiding but like hiding um the the formation change changes i want to go sit in that set like i feel like i'd feel really cool if i was sitting there I have to say, they do the same choreography. It's like the same like cho uh, chorus choreography every time. But it's also interesting how they change it. Like the formations are different, but also like individually they make different choices every time. So you never get bored, even though it's like they do the same choreography three times. Sometimes that might get like boring to be like, okay, we've seen this already, but they don't. They like keep it different and energized and like it's still living. It never feels like it's like overdone. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for it again, even though I know it's happening. You see how low in that jump that his chest gets? Like he's he's like at like that angle in the air. But if you watch him, his knees are also bent. So his feet are like facing towards the ceiling and he's like jumping and like, I can't imagine having danced for like two and a half minutes and singing and then all of a sudden just being like, oh, in the dark too. Because that's the other thing. One of my least favorite things of performing ever is having to walk out on stage in a blackout, which <laughs> like it happens before every dance and like after every dance, but, like having to walk out, like it's pitch black. Like you can't see where you're going. If I'm ever going out onto stage and it's like in a blackout, like I will like grab onto my friend's shoulders and I'll be like, where are we? Am I gonna fall off the stage? And then the lights come on and you're like, I'm in the wrong location. Where's the ground? I'm not on my mark. Why am I not in line? So to do such a big jump with like only like those like little red floor lights on, maybe it was brighter in the actual theater. Maybe it just looks darker because this is like a recording of it. But like doing that big of a jump in low light would make me very scared. So... <laughs> kudos to i wish i could see their face i don't know who just did that but it was cool so good job look at how his foot is like towards the ceiling that's wild okay oh, i love that it was so musical it's all of like the big like more like lofty movement that's happening because people are jumping over lights and then i think next you'll see somebody goes over somebody's back so it, and because of the low light it kind of looks like they're just suspended in air but then to contrast the big lofty movements that are happening behind them they have the and it, oh, it's so satisfying oh and then there's a at the end Whoever the choreographers are, they understand two things, contrast and like satisfaction set. <laughs> That's not a word. Like so many of the movements, like you just watch and you're like, ah, that was satisfying. And I feel like that and like, the, <laughs> it's so satisfying. But then also they have a great concept, at least from what I've seen, of like contrasting and going from big lofty movements to sharp small movements and doing very very subtle doo -doo 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 movements to like boom movements and i think that's just two things as like a choreographer that i notice that like are that make it just be like oh my gosh <laughs> also that that leap is also wait wait no 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 go back go back okay can i watch it again i'm gonna watch it again These look like they're actually just like beams of light. And then it looks like they're shooting the light through maybe like fog so that like we can actually see the beam. But like, I didn't see anybody actually like hit one of the lights. Like, I don't think there's a moment in there when somebody like interferes with the light. Oh, maybe there was like a little bit right there in the back, but like, Oh, 
like they're actually i think there was only one moment in there that i saw somebody accidentally like actually bump into the one of the light beams which means like it's not just a visual effect that they're like not touching the wire or like the the fake laser beams but like they're literally actually jumping over the light and not touching it so like they're focusing on dancing they're focusing on choreo they're focusing on performing they're focusing on like not falling over but then also they're not touching the light like that must just be like mental energy overload but like oh my gosh that's so cool yes this um what is that movie that like it's like the newer heist movie where they're like hiding the thing hang on catch me if you can or something well, that's not at all what I wanted. Card scene from heist movie. Now you see me, not catch me if you can. It reminds me of this scene. I don't know the context. I just know that I've seen this on Instagram before. See, he like has like the card and then it like flips away and then he like has it. And then like, cause this is obviously very possible. Do, do, do. Definitely no CGI involved in this project. Anyway, that's what the card thing reminds me of. And I like it. I like that they have a secret card. Oh, oh, it's so good. I'm sorry. I forgot. I forgot that they keep on dancing. Oh, so good. They just have such a good understanding of timing. Look at, look at him. Look at him. Look at him just. That's an elongated. Fossey line if I've ever seen one. And it's so simple too. He's just balancing on one leg, but you watch it and you're like, oh my gosh, what are you, what are you doing? Yes. Yes. The, I didn't even realize that all of their coats intertwined like that. I just thought like two of them did. I just feel like from a performer's point of view. I feel like as soon as they hit this part in the choreography, they're like, <sighs> like as soon as everybody gets their jacket off in time, as soon as everybody's links up, they're like, okay, we're all good. We've got this now. Like, I feel like that would be the most stressful part because when you're dealing with like props, like coats or canes or umbrellas or something, like you, the dance automatically gets so much harder because there's just like that little bit of uncertainty of like, what if I don't get my shirt off in time? What if it doesn't wrap? Like there's so much room for error when you start working with props like that. And so I just feel like as soon as they hit this part, they're probably like, oh, cool, it worked, it worked. But that's, oh my gosh. Also, I love the tonal change going back a little bit from this very like big, almost like jazzy line and then going straight into like this more breakdown moment is also really, really great. I don't even know. You know it's also really great when you watch it and you're like, I don't even know how that happened or what they did or what is happening. And I've watched it like four times now, but I love it. Also, I think this part, it looks very like casual, like they're just grooving and air guitaring with their friends. But uh, is this J-Hope? I think this one's J-Hope. If you watch him, if uh, lower right hand corner, he does like an in out with his um, leg, which just makes it seem so much larger. Like the movement looks more embodied, even though it looks like he's just like chilling and vibing, but it looks like he's more chill and more vibey because he's actually putting more effort into it. Does that make sense? I don't know, but I said it. So there we go. Oops, I went back too far. Looks like I have to watch this part again. Oh, I guess they all kind of moved the foot. I just noticed it on J-Hope, but. I love it. Uh, I think that part's really satisfying because they basically use the coat as an extension of themselves. And so, Whereas like they can only reach this far, 
with the coat now they can reach like twice that far and get like a much more flung energy so i like how their body is a little bit more like in control and then the the i don't want to say chaos but like the chaos of the choreography comes from that flinging of the shirt and oh. I also think it's really cool how they kind of throw the coats at the camera and it's kind of like a pseudo transition into like the next scene because your your view is partially obscured which I think is a really fun way to kind of play with the transitioning out of this dance break back into the song without having to use special effects because a lot of times like CGI and stuff is used even in live performances and I like that they used just like the actual coat instead of like making like a, a technical transition they used like an actual coat to make something that looks like a digital transition i like that i think that's really fun and cool Oh my gosh, are they flying in an entire another set? I didn't even notice that they were changing the entire stage. That's kind of crazy. I love it when big productions have like 500 people on stage. I think it always looks so cool. I mean, and obviously this is like a very like big budget production. But I really do think it's cool how like we started like, at the tables with the audience and then it goes into the dance and performance and then it goes into like the spy with the lasers and then it's like really dark and then it goes into like that like kind of like graffiti almost thing with like the coats and all the lights like disco party and then it kind of comes back down and closes and I kind of feel like I'm at like a movie premiere or something so like and like there's like a bunch of security and it feels like very like red carpet and then it kind of comes back to like a solo stage and it kind of gives me like the vibe of like like an old like band playing on like one of like the, like the very old like 1950 like big band shows and i like how there was that whole journey but we never left that theater and again like obviously it's a very high production value so like they have enough money to change set scenes and fly in sets and stuff but i i think they did a really wonderful job at designing a set in a uh performance that takes you on like a full journey like, I feel like I just watched a music video with four different locations in it. Yeah, okay, yeah, that was, oh my gosh, I'm so glad I watched that. Um, thank you to my YouTube recommended for putting that on my screen. <laughs> and thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys had as much fun as I did, because I had a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you like this kind of video. Um, or if you don't, you can still like, comment, and subscribe. Although I don't really know why you would want to. I hope to see you guys again very soon. Thank you and bye. <laughs> oh, I'm in such a good mood. I want to go make art.